There really is an app for everything. This one is the latest from NOAA. It lays out a different way to garden to save water and protect water quality. Now, in the midst of our drought, more and more people are turning to things like these apps and water-saving landscaping. All new at 6, KXAN's Natalie Stoll visited a couple who've transformed their yard into a rain garden. We actually replaced our windows in our house and made them larger so we can actually look out in the winter and actually see something beautiful. The cross vines. Joanne and Hamilton Richards Old St. Augustine yard got a makeover several years ago. Mainly native plants and a unique design make the most of Austin's limited rainfall. Well, they soak it all up, which is the <laughs> wonderful thing, because that's what we want to happen. Um, it's nice to have a rain garden so that the water isn't wasted. Uh, it doesn't go out into the street. And so this stops it slows it down, and then it can run off. Kathy Nordstrom designed this rain garden. There's a gentle slope, a creek and downspout leading to a small holding pond where the water can soak in. It solves drainage and irrigation issues along the way. You actually can have one of these, and then if the slope continues, and if this were a larger yard, there are some of those in Austin, mm -hmm. you can then have a lower one and it can actually go to two or three or four. It takes some planning to turn a yard into this. And now the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has a new tool to help. They helped fund this app called Rain Garden. Beyond just the basics, it goes into detail on how to install a garden. The downside, it's focused on the Northeast US. Rain Garden started on the East Coast to protect water quality. Ours that we do here are different from the ones in Maryland where it started. Yeah. Uh, they have to be different because we have different uh, conditions. Like different plants, but the benefits are similar. So this, this holds nutrients, holds water, and of course that's going to be an obvious benefit, but it prevents it from washing down into creeks that can pollute our water supply. In West Austin, Natalie Stoll, KXAN News. City of Austin has a step-by-step -step guide to constructing a rain garden as well, and you can even qualify for a landscape credit. We've linked to it from our website, kxan.com. Look for this story under the Austin section.